So I've been at camp, I don't know, for a few hours now. And it wasn't that long of a travel day, but it's been raining all night last night, all day today. It stopped for a short period. And I tried making a fire, and of course it just started raining again. So I've literally just been hunkered up here all day. Not the first day I had wanted. Of course, all my stuff back here is uh, soaked. I'm trying to dry it out the best I can. But anyways, I'm sitting here getting ready to make some dinner. It's about five o'clock. What I have today is dehydrated pasta, pasta bolognese. So some angel hair spaghetti pasta, dried tomato sauce, beef, some seasonings. Should be pretty good. Get some warm food in me, maybe a hot toddy. And I don't know, I think I'm ready for bed. Like, even even though I didn't travel that far today, it just, you know, bleh. But, you know, I'm still in good spirits. Doesn't take it out of me because I know the rest of the trip has good weather. So I got plenty of time to dry my stuff out. Plenty of fishing opportunities. Um, don't let it get you down. So it beats, you know, being in the rat race. I'm out here in nature in this beautiful wilderness. So yeah, I look forward to a nice uh, good night's rest. All right, so it came out pretty good. Maybe could have used just to scotch more water, but now I got the finishing touch, which is to add a little bit of Parmesan. Bon appetit. It's good. So I think the last thing to do, because I'm pretty tired and ready for bed, is uh, to make some tea, or better yet, should I say a hot toddy. So I have some lemon ginger tea and some Woodford double oak. So a little bourbon to go in my tea and uh, yeah, it'll be good. That's been steeping long enough. This thing hasn't really leaked, but I still put it in a Ziploc just in case. Last thing we want is the entire food pack to be reminiscent of whiskey. I mean, I don't know. I can think of worse things, I guess. Cheers.
that's nice. Just got up. It did rain pretty heavy around 1.30 a.m. Look at the watch. Um, it's pretty brisk, pretty chilly this morning. The wind came in pretty hard too. So definitely glad I uh, had everything guide out. In the lake, looking pretty choppy this morning. So I'll have to be careful. Like I said, it's pretty brisk, so I'm gonna wanna make sure I got some wool on to keep me warm. But yeah, it's uh, about 5.30 in the morning. I'm gonna get some water going so I can get some oatmeal and coffee and then get on the water. So oatmeal for every morning. This is a little oatmeal I put together, so it's a uh, old-fashioned oats with a uh, what did I dehydrate blueberries apples banana and then I threw in some raisins and then I got um, chopped walnuts chopped pecans and sliced almonds touch of brown sugar and a little uh, cinnamon and nutmeg too so it's pretty good water in here give this a stir and then uh, we'll get it on the burner Some warm, sticky food, stick to my ribs. This will be good for the day.
this is my first night using this inflatable pillow. Um, my wife, Vanessa, I don't know if she just got it on Amazon or whatever, but what's really cool, it has this strap, you know, fix it to your sleeping pad so it doesn't move around on you. Inflatable, so it packs down real nice. And then you can adjust, you know, the firmness of it. I've used an inflatable uh, pillow before. It wasn't stellar. Tried this last night. It worked really well. Um, so Trekology. I think she got it from Amazon. Not sure. But anyways, works pretty well. So there's this little push button here to release the air. It's a valve. Once you let go, it doesn't let air out. And then you can see this packs down. Mighty small. So good find. Thanks, hon. Big Agnes Q Core sleeping pad. So I had it last season and so this is going into my second season with it. And I couldn't be happier. I really enjoy this sleeping pad. It comes with you know this blow up bag, bellow. <clears throat> you know, you fill it up with air, connect this to the pad, and you can blow it up. Now, I try not to overpack and I don't think I bring too many needless things. There's a couple luxuries I bring, but one of them certainly is a little mini air pump. I think it's by a company, Flextail. So this is it right here, this little pouch. USB-C chargeable and what it is is it comes with several different sized attachments. And I found one that fits all my stuff. Yeah, it's this small. Surprisingly for how small it is, fills up stuff no problem. But I will use that air pillow, bellow, whatever you want to call it to firm up the last little bit when we went to sylvania last year me and my two boys that was a five-day trip and we were able to fill all three of our sleeping pads all four nights so just to give you an idea of um battery life there i feel like the battery life is really good so something to consider
So I just got on the lake. Got a little bit later of a start than I wanted. But, you know, everything was wet, trying to shake it off, give it a little bit of time to dry. So I got a little paddle here to my first portage. The winds died down a little bit, so that's nice. Mosquitoes are starting to come out, starting to bite. I put on a little bit of bug spray. I don't like using DEET. I hate how it smells, I hate how it feels. And it really bothers me that it melts plastic. So I just stay away from it. The stuff I use is an alternative. Supposedly it works just as good. I and mean, I don't know. I kind of think maybe not so much. I mean, deep works. I just don't appreciate the uh, side effects, if you will. So, this is the third portage of the day. And I got one more after this, and I'll be on my destination lake. It's still fairly early, just after 12. I want to uh, get to this lake and definitely do some fishing. I'm supposed to hold some brookies. Got a little bit later of a start today than I wanted. But should be okay still. Deadfall here. It's on the Portage Trail here and runs next to this creek. It's not a full-blown river, it just kind of connects two of the lakes that I'm portaging between. But, pretty cool. Power of water is no joke. Wish I had time to get down in there and explore. I'm sure there's some brookies held up in some holes in there. <laughs> So there's a little inlet back there, I couldn't pass up, I had to throw in a couple lines. It seemed real fishy, but no luck. Onward. Ooh, a little bit of a headwind here. Got hung up on some rocks. 
just a little snag. No biggie, I was able to uh, get that out, no problem. But false alarm. But since I'm going across this lake, it's like, why not troll? Never know. You know it's just about across. We'll be at our last port of the day. Last, and I think, <laughs> the longest and most difficult. So we'll see. Oh, salvation. I can see the lake. The portage was a doozy, guys. I am absolutely gassed. That was easily the hardest portage I've ever done. I think it was like, I'll have to check, but 455 rods? Which I think is like one and one third mile, something like that. Well, I was trolling and looks like we have trout for dinner. So beautiful. Got the fire going and we'll let the coals die down a little bit so we can get some food going. Of course, we got the fish there ready to go. It's nice to have a fire finally. It is pretty cold. And I strategically placed the clothesline downwind from the fire. Hopefully dry some of this stuff out. Then Got the tent set up here. So this bothers me that people decided to put nails in, but since they're there, I am using them. Now, doesn't that look delicious? Brook trout fried up with lemon pepper Old Bay and then a touch of dill at the end. It's gonna be great. morning it's like 8 30 slept in for a little bit and after uh, a little bit of a grind yesterday I decided to go ahead and get some rest in so pretty soon here I'm gonna Get out of the tent, get some oatmeal going, all that good camping stuff. So yeah, here I am, ready for day three. See what day three adventures await.
So here's the view of the lake from the campsite. It's turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous day. The lake is calm. So I can't wait to uh, enjoy this breakfast, looking at this view and get out there and do some fishing. Just got back in from doing some fishing. I did catch another brookie. I thought I captured it on the GoPro, but then I looked at the footage and I don't know, no such thing. I did get a nice pile of wood sawed up, ready for a nice rip roaring fire tonight. I think I'm gonna hydrate and then probably eat here and probably get back out on the lake in a little bit and go fishing at dusk. There weren't a lot of options for limbs to use. Thank you. Here's what I was after. Dinner's bag. I don't know what I'm going to have tonight. I'm thinking either taco mac or broccoli beef stir fry. Hmm. I'm thinking taco mac. That sounds good. Here's Taco Mac. So, I already cooked um, pasta noodles, dehydrated salsa, and then, um, like, basically, I think it was like a Kroger knockoff version of the Rotel, you know. 
chopped tomatoes and peppers and then beef and then it's got the mac and cheese um powder in here as well as some powdered milk and then i also have in here some um dehydrated cilantro too just to kind of garnish it with Whew. it's actually warmed up a lot i don't know all of a sudden i think it's because the wind died but i'm actually quite warm the bugs are swirling around a little bit so fire up the thermosel which in my experience I found does actually work. So it runs off the regular isobutane fuel and it like hardly draws any at all. There's the loons. They haven't been very voicey today, but definitely seen them around. I'm diving under looking for fish. I'm looking for fish too. Just a little guy. A little perch. <laughs> Good night, everybody. It was a pretty good day. Caught another brook trout. Had a wonderful day paddling the lake. Dinner was really good. The taco mac turned out really good. Had a nice fire. Had another hot toddy. And I'm ready for bed. <laughs>